Hello, Dr. Nitin here. In the earlier video, we saw how to make a plane fly using simple PowerPoint animation. In this video, we will see how to do exactly the same thing using a new feature called Morph. This feature is available only if you are a part of a program called Office Insider as of now. See the description and the related blog for more details about how to participate in this program. Very soon, this feature will be released to all Office 365 Pro Plus customers. So let's get started. I have the picture of the cloud. I'm going to copy it and paste it on top of the plane. Now send it back. And now we want the clouds to be moved backwards to give an illusion as though the plane is moving forward. I don't want to expose the slide, so I need to make the cloud picture much bigger than the slide so that it can move from left to right without exposing the slide. In the earlier video, we had to do animation to make this cloud move from left to right. This time, we are going to use Morph. So all that I need to do is duplicate the slide. Right click and duplicate or Control D as the shortcut. So now that we have duplicated the slides, in the second slide, I'm going to go and change the position of this cloud left to right, move it physically so that it is in the intended final position. Now we have to apply the morph transition. So go to transition, just click on morph. The only thing we have to change now is the duration because usually that transition happens in two seconds. We want the plane to move nice and smoothly because it's in cruise. So we change it to 30 seconds. And now I run the presentation from the first slide. The first slide of course has nothing, so it's static. But when I click to go to the next slide, it doesn't go directly to the next slide now. It's going to take 30 seconds to manage the change from the previous slide to the next slide. And the only change is the cloud has moved from left to right. And that's exactly what it is showing you. Another way in which I could have used Morph is like this. I have the same kind of slide, but the clouds are static. The plane is outside the slide on the right side. I'm going to duplicate this slide. And this time I'm going to make the plane go the other side. We will use Morph again. And this time just to shorten the duration, I'm going to do it in say eight seconds. And let's see how it works. Obviously at this stage in the previous slide, the plane is not even shown, but when I click to go to the next slide, plane is going to move from left to right nicely, smoothly, and it's going to go out of the screen as expected. So that's all for now. I will create more interesting videos about the new morph feature. But in the meantime, if you like this particular video, please share it with your friends and colleagues. Do subscribe to this video channel as well as my blog at efficiency365.com. Thank you.